Okay, okay, we're back. Deli Ground Radio, the Terrence Henry Show. We're live before the fact in the building, man. We got, a lot, we got a lot to talk about. We ain't been on air since... When the last time we was on air? I, two I, weeks ago. It was, it was two weeks ago. We had my man Don Wine up here. He was doing his thing. Um, Bree, glad you had me back. I knew you had a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> my assistant is back. My assistant is back. <laughs> Thank you for being here. You know, you, we, we had talks. You probably thought, Terrence is not going to talk to me again. <laughs> That's not the case. There's a lot going on. You know, it was, but I'm back. You're back. Okay, good. So let's get into it. So um, a lot to talk about. Um, R&B Reese is coming on at 6.30. I want to talk about Bill Cosby thing. I want to jump right into this. Oh, my God. I, okay, I want to jump right into this thing. So, apparently pissed off some people. So, so apparently Shane pissed off some people. <laughs> Uh, during um, uh, this uh, situation with Bill Cosby, um, apparently Shane had voiced his opinion, and a former or still co-host of mine, uh, Brandon, called in. I mean, was actually on Instagram saying that you know he was wrong, but I kind of agreed with uh, Shane on this. He did that shit. Bill did that shit. Uh, Bill dropped these motherfuckers licking on titties. He was doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Bill had something to do with that. He dropped the Quaalude. He did it. He dropped the motherfucking bomb in that motherfucker. I believe he had something to do with it. I don't care what anybody say. That's how I feel. That's what it's going to be. And that motherfucker did it. He dropped that shit. Oh, man. And his black ass finally got caught, but no disrespect to Bill. And everybody trying to justify it. Oh, what about all these other people that's doing shit? It don't matter, black, white, it don't matter. I got a daughter at the end of the day, so my views are gonna be a little bit different. And when some, when you got America's dad, and actually black America's dad in the world, nobody would ever think that Bill Cosby would do that shit. But guess what, Bill, I love you, but you, out of all these women that came out, you did something to one of these motherfuckers. And, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this to you too. That one woman that looked like a fucking man? What the fuck was you thinking? Hey, oh, hey. Cause you didn't have to drop her ass. Quaylus, she was all for it. Quaylus do something to the man. She was all for it. That one woman that went to the temple, she walked like a man, she looked like a man. Bill, what kind of kinky shit was you into? Why do you gotta come at her? Because she looked like <laughs> She look like a fucking man at the end of the day. You see that walk? I swear, if a woman got a better stroll than I do, there's no way I'm getting in bed with her, man. I'm just not doing it. I mean, well, all right, I'm look, just I, not doing she it. She did not look at, like that uh, when they were dealing with each other. Yeah, I don't think so either. Oh, 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 so the walk didn't change? That's what you're telling me? It got changed over time because he's like 100, so I'm pretty sure this happened. Right. Some, some she time. looks like a man. She it could have developed over time. That's know. bullshit. People you change. People man. change. It was it was 30 you years ago. I mean, it don't matter. Everybody know. Listen. You gotta come at the victim. Huh? I don't like think they're all victims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. Think they're all she was mad enough to stop that shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was mad enough to stop. I mean, now I, I want to say though, like I, I want to say something just because I'm anticipating Brandon to call and yeah, start yeah. ranting and stuff. <laughs> All right, and here's the thing. It's like, I'm not trying to argue with Brandon. I'm not trying to change his mind. He already has his mind made up. And he's not, he's not gonna, I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna persuade him be like, oh, maybe I was, maybe I was wrong. Like, that's not gonna happen, obviously. So, I mean, you know, I think that he just, he needs to deal with the fact that, you know, his fave lost, right? He's, he's problematic. But I mean, the thing, the truth, the thing is, is that, is that in 2005 and 2006, Bill Cosby, in his own deposition, under oath, admitted to a drugging and raping these women. When? 2005 and 2006. Deposition under oath, admitted to this. Oh, man. He did it. He admitted to it. And there's people still denying it and that it's a big conspiracy about how he tried to buy NBC. He don't have enough money to buy NBC. Like, he just don't. That's... He did that I shit! That, I have faith in Bill, think, man. I don't think that that's the case. I don't think he doesn't have the money to do it because 
Do you, do you see his empire? Billions what? of dollars. Millions I can get, but you billions? Have a million dollars. Of Bill, Bill's not a billionaire. She, she was still coming on air. It was still coming on air until all this came out. My thing is, yes, I totally agree with you. Um, this man is just very toxic. He needed to be in jail a long time ago. And because of um, what they didn't take serious back then, now is a serious thing. Right. You drug somebody, you're going to jail. And oh, think sorry. about it. I think, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think... I think that by putting him in jail, it is um, it teaching people a lesson. Like, listen, you can't te you can't let things slide. This should have happened a long time ago. And because people love his work, that right. doesn't mean that they should love what he's doing. Um, a wrong is a wrong. You need to go to jail. Yeah. He going, but he old as shit. He it don't matter. Lady. It don't he matter. It don't matter. He the fuck? He right Yo, he's so well enough to storm out of that courtroom. I don't buy the fact that he can't see. Yo, he was cursing out the prosecutor. He did. <laughs> he did. He did. He cursed out the prosecutor. Wait, my dick is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> my dick is in trouble. You mean to tell me I gotta be responsible for it? Yes, Bill. Now, I mean, there's also the Joe thing is though is that is like not going to save you. is that you know specifically <laughs> one of the one of the arguments Brandon has is that this is a, a conspiracy to tear down black people, tear down black men. <laughs> and, ruin, and ruin a black man's legacy, right? And I want to say that, that he's saying that this is a corrupt system and all this stuff. I just want to point out, this is the same justice system that acquitted O.J. Simpson, who definitely murdered his wife. But he definitely got out, so I don't really know. All right? This is also the same justice system that acquitted Michael Jackson, despite the fact that the children in question could correctly identify his penis. What? They did? Yes. Okay. I didn't know they did. This that. is also, and also, if you want to go for a more recent route, this is the same justice system that just released Meek Mill. If they were, if they, ah! if they were really, oh my God. if they were really oh trying, God. if they were really trying to tear down black men, they would have let him rot in jail. They did let me rot for a little bit. They had the press to get Meek out. It was a judge that did that, and everyone was like, okay, yeah, this is wrong, and they let him out. If they, if ever, if they were really against him like that, they would have let him stay in there forever. So you mean to tell me that he should be in there for months and months just because he did a wheelie? No, I'm not, no, I'm saying that he shouldn't have. I'm saying if it was corrupt, he he would have been in there for a while. That's longer. why he couldn't. They didn't make him stay in there because he didn't do nothing. Exactly. For him. So and that's my and that's my point. That's my point is that is that they're they're charging people who have actually done shit. Despite the fact that in the past they let people go who definitely did shit, right? right? And that. also, right? They bring up like, oh, Harvey Weinstein's not getting jail time. Har this person, uh, you know, uh, this person's not getting jail time. Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein was he was pimping them. Up. Harvey Weinstein has his has his court case next month sometime, like uh, like like fourteenth or something, right? I, and he's got a huge human trafficking case being built against him in, against him in Europe. So that's not being that's not being thrown out either. These things aren't being forgotten. Bill Cosby's just the first. Big one that's happening because it happened so early is the first one to happen. Like the reason this came back to light is because Hannibal Burris made a joke about him on stage at the comedy show. Bill did that shit. That's all I got to say. He, he did, did do that it. shit. He dropped the Quaalude. So, in so I just want to say, he Quaalude. A Quaalude is it's like a it's you like know, a it's like a it's like a drug. It's like a drug. It it make, it yeah, it's like a date rape drug. It make people like feel. Roofie? Yeah, it's like a, yeah, roofie. It's it roofie. make people feel horny. <laughs> it, put, it puts you to sleep. <laughs> it puts you to sleep. <laughs> it puts you to sleep. <laughs> Now I know what he was doing. Now Brandon's gonna call in. He's gonna he's gonna rant a bunch of stuff. He's gonna say what he wants to me. I'm not gonna say anything to him. He's supposed to call in because you know what? At the end of the day, his fave lost. He gotta get over. It. All right. Now look, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby's legacy will always be there. He's done amazing things for the black community. He made sure that there's not a single negative representation of black people on network television. Right for years, like he done amazing things, right? But he's also done some really horrible, horrible shit, like raping women for thirty years. Right? Damn, thirty years? Yes, thirty. I mean, he's, he's See, no, my thing no, Bill probably uses no condoms. I mean, he's always been a little problematic too, because he's one of those people that that you know. I mean, I've heard, I've heard you know uh, other friends of mine, you know, specifically black friends of mine, make this argument that um, Bill Cosby is always sort of talking down to black youth. Pull your pants up if you want respect, and do all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, it, he, yeah. it's like, it's like, dude, like, you, can't you know, say that when you, you really can't. Like, when you sticking your, uh, your, your penis in white girls' butts. <laughs> I didn't hear too much. You know what I'm saying? When you sticking your penis, when you sticking your penis in white girl butts, man, you can't, you can't get on on that. One. You know, and the fact that yeah, Brandon yeah. isn't believing these women, he thinks they're all lies. That's one of the main reasons why women don't come out about rape sooner is because they think no one's gonna believe me. So why should I say anything? Nah, all right, I don't so know. I'm glad that you said that. 
I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you said that Shane. Uh, uh, people oh. know what you look like, by the way. I need to play devil's uh, advocate uh, here. <laughs> Just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then you gotta get back to work. Okay. All right. Go ahead. I, I think that uh, I don't think all of those women were. Um, well, no. I mean, it was, it was, it was proven that they weren't, right? I mean, because granted, in any situation like this, when you have a, a very powerful rich person in question, vulture, all the vultures are gonna come out no matter what. So, okay. granted, definitely, there's women there who were lying and were just after a quick buck. It's, it's like that with every case like this. So, I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story really fast, and this is. So over the weekend, um, um, I was talking to a young lady um, about two years ago, right? Me and, me and her were cool, right? She's a faithful listener on the show. I'm not going to mention no names. And uh, we went out on a date, right? So we went out on a date. Shit happened. Did I have sexual um, intercourse with the girl? No, I didn't. But we played around, you know, things like that. So in the midst of us talking to that, we was talking about that. She said I made her. Do things. I said, wait, 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 wait. I didn't make you do anything. I didn't make you suck on my nipples. I didn't make you do nothing. <laughs> All right. No, I'm telling her this way happened because you know I, I like my nipples to be sucked on. I mean, there's no, there's no secret. Yeah, you've said this before on the show. Yes, this is, not, this is not a show no, secret. So the girl was sucking on my nipples. I didn't make. I just lift up my shirt. She did it. All right. So we in the middle of the conversation. Like, you made me. You made me. Uh, do all these things. I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't make you do nothing. You did it because you wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? I stopped talking to her because my whole thing is this, right? When this show becomes big, whatever, I don't know if she's going to come back and like, oh, I was talking to Terrence and, you know, he made me suck his nipples. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, I'm I waiting for the day where there's a deposition where he made me suck his nipples. I, 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 don't, I don't need that. On my, and that's what I'm trying to say. So my thing is, if you do it, like, like some, some women, I can see the bill rate, mostly, I don't know. I think he got uncomfortable. I think he slipped the drug in them and they became relaxed. I think that when he touched them, it was like, ooh, but they was like, no, at the same time. But he still got his way with them. So it was rape because when they woke up in the morning, they felt like shit. Now, I will say. I mean, some of these women woke up during the sex. Right. Oh, yeah. They were, they were passed out asleep and they woke up during sex. Oh, damn, why he was knocking them off? Yeah. Damn, Bill, you damn, damn. That's Bill. a disappointment. He probably used no condoms either. Bill, Bill nasty, man. I would have woke up and Bill, Bill you no condoms. I want to say this. Shout out to look. I have <laughs> look, Bill. You know what I mean. I looked up to you as a kid. I watched all the Cosby shows and all that. Jello. I watched the stand up. You know all the. Good we all ate Jello. I mean, we all love Jello. Like, I do believe that he just did not say that he did not. Now, now in the back in them days, yeah. In back in them days, you know that's what they was into. He was, he was fucking. Let's keep it real. He was fucking. All right. Now my whole thing is this though. Why would Bill? Gotta rape these chick, these people. That's what I'm saying. He got tons of money. You could just go buy the best. You know who he is, though. That's my yeah, but see, that's the thing, though, is that with these people is that, like, I guess there's the thrill of, like, and, like, this power complex of, you know, asserting your dominance over somebody in this manner. And like, it's not necessarily like, oh, I have the money, I can just go get whoever I want. I think it's, I think it's deeper than that. I think it's, I think there's, there's a psych, there's a psychological aspect to it that I think a lot of people aren't considering when they try to defend or, you, think, you know, right. prove this. I definitely agree with you. I think um, I'm just. You don't agree with me. It's hard. No, <laughs> it's it's hard to talk about these kind of things because it gets me so angry. Mm. Um, I know that there are women out here that. They say things because they want something, but I would never tell a woman that she's lying um, in what has happened to her. I would never right. tell anybody that, right. listen, you this can't happen or whatever like that. Um, maybe all, all of the women had sex with them. May, uh, uh, like, I, I, I don't know. I just... I, I can't I can't say that I've been in the courtroom and everything and I know every single thing that happened right. But a topic like this makes me extremely angry because of the thought of because it was 40 women is too many women and because we've seen him as a dad like um, All that shit just goes out the window. Oh, no, but he created all the good shows and doo -doo -doo. I don't care. I can't watch that shit no matter how much I used to um, How he has disrespected women Need, he needs to be in there for the rest of his life. He mm. needs to. I don't. I don't have any sympathy for him. He could die tomorrow. I don't care. Mm. I. I. <laughs> I just have very strong feelings when it comes to people that do things like this. You. You know what you're doing. So you and, think he did it? 
You think he just raped all his women? Not raped, but he had something like that. It's one thing when one person comes out to say it. It's another thing when 40 come out to say it. Yeah. Mm. Is it... Who... 40 people are lying? You get what I'm right. saying? Yeah. And then it's all a conspiracy because he tried... Because he, he tried and, and also failed to buy NBC? So this is my whole thing. So Which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So, 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 so let's, let's, let's put all this in perspective. Do I believe Bill has some sexual allegations against him with women? Do I think he did something? Yes, I do. Right. But let's look at all the other people that had sexual encounters and did things and they're getting off. The Me Too movement is right. huge right now. Right. So it's a lot of people and a lot of stars is doing things that, you know, um, I feel like have gotten off. Uh, so, so one of them is what's his name? Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein is coming up. Well, he yeah, he's not off. He, uh, he has his court date. What's the guy from ABC? I forgot his name. Uh, ABC. Yeah, ABC. ABC. Does the guy on ABC? I think. I'm not sure. All right. One of them, matter of fact, one of a, uh, an NBA announcer. I heard, I heard was doing like scratching his. Uh, he was scratching girls' backs and shit. Mm. You know, I forgot the girl Harper. Harper, whatever his name was. He was doing some damn house stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, but my thing is, if you want to get Bill Cosby on this, you got to get them all. Or anybody that has any type of sexual encounters and made women do it or something. My whole thing is this, women. Like, walk away. Walk the fuck away. No, no, walk away. If you feel like something wrong, walk the fuck away. These people are in high power. They ain't going to try to step there and rape you with all this money. Walk the fuck away. That's another thing that I'm kind of weary on. Because my thing is this. If you going over Bill House, and you don't want to be, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't want to be touched. Oh my God, you about, to go, you about to say victim, no, you about wait, to victim blame. No, wait, no, oh no, my no, God. no, I'm not. Wait. I'm just trying to make a violent situation here. <laughs> if you went over his house and you knew that you felt that much uncomfortable, you should have walked away. That is victim blame. What if they could that is victim How does victim blame How is that? Because now you're saying it's their fault. Like, fucking deal with Jello. No, Get the fuck out of here. But you're saying because that she... Because I'm not saying I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. What you're saying, <laughs> I'm with you on this. But what I'm saying is they should have been strong enough to walk away from that shit. They should what they should have done. I mean, Bill Cosby just shouldn't have raped women. I mean, I feel like that's that's, right, right, but that's where the real sick, problem is. How do you stick cradles in there and that shit happen? They put it in the drink. What drink of wine? Like it doesn't it doesn't fun. matter what drink it is. It could be a soda. It could be water. I'm right. not listening. It could be I'm seltzer. Right. What if they weren't even at her? Uh, they didn't even get to his house. What's up, bro? Like, what if they started from being outside of? Oh yeah, and then they I'm wind not, up at his home. I'm not right. disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. But you saying where she should? I'm be. just saying. I'm thinking the, the logic of it is is that you felt somewhat uncomfortable with Bill, you know, coming up with his sweater on. You know what I'm saying? Talking about <laughs> pudding. You know what I mean? At some point, you can get up and walk the fuck out. What if you want to have a conversation with him? But just because you... For what? You know he's about to pull his dick out. But, but what if you didn't know that 30 years ago? Yeah, 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 exactly. No one's going to know that. You didn't know that. You're, you didn't all right, look, 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 let's say you're a young, impressionable girl, right? And you're going to Bill Cosby's house because you want a part on the TV show. You're gonna, she, he's going to help you. He's going to help you with lines. It's like 17, 18, 19 years old. Right? That's crazy. Okay? You coming along to my house. Right? Like you, go over, you go over to Bill Cosby's house, he's going to run over some lines for a script or whatever, right? right. He says, oh, would you like a drink? Oh, sure, I'll have one. He slips something in there. You don't know it. Right. You so pass out. When he, so you're saying that he purposely... I, I'm not he drugged he, these women without their knowledge or consent. Okay. And he said it. Right. And he oh, admitted okay. it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. You're just saying she I'm, should've. I'm just saying though, that like some of them women. I feel like a, a bigger should've just should've been some Bill Cosby them, should've Some of them fucking knew. Probably. Right? Some of them knew. Some of them Definitely. didn't know. Not all of them. Definitely. Did he slip fucking drinks in like, you know. Some of them he knew he could probably, like, yo, man, let me drop them drawers, man, get him to be on the Cosby show real quick. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You never know. Some women just think that's the way it is. Now, Have a little pudding pop. But just because you want to spend time with someone, you shouldn't automatically assume. Like, if we're going on a date, I'm not assuming that I'm coming to the house to drop my drawers. Unless that's what we discussed. But, but that's yeah. Bill Cosby. You think I'm a fucking Cosby. He's the last person I would think. But my whole thing is this. If you Bill Cosby, why the fuck do you got to drug me? Like I said, I, well, I said this before. I think I think there's a psychological issue there. I feel like you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's a there's a there's a power. Yeah, exactly. There is a, there's a there's a power thing. There. I think Bill Cosby's a fetish. I think he just wanted to slip Kuwait loose and like you know what? Nobody ain't gonna say that to me. I'm sponsoring Jello. I'm he was the biggest man on TV for years. Yeah, for Family years. man. You couldn't touch him. Yeah, you couldn't touch Bill Cosby. So he was around. And he was just knocking off joints and shit. And he felt some type of way where they left in the morning. And he just went to bed like felt like a baby after it was over. 
But a lot of people get away with a lot of shit that has a lot of money. It's tons. But it's of a lot of people right now. Things. So 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 when you think about Trump and all them grabbing them by the pussy, mm-hmm. all that shit. His wife says, don't want to hold his hand. I mean, yeah, but my thing is this: if, if, all this shit going on in the gray and women. Just don't target Bill. Target all those other motherfuckers doing shit. You can put the same justice for Bill. They are. Do the same justice for all those other motherfuckers. And they are doing that shit. Free Bill. I think that I think that they are. The fact that we focus on something like this, we say, okay, we're gonna talk about Bill Cosby. Then, so so you, it that's just like how you mentioned the topic. I need ladies. I need ladies calling. I need somebody calling yeah. Instagram Bob two one five nine zero nine 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 two five. Somebody calling. Somebody voice their opinion. I want to know from another perspective. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm if we if we talk about Bill Cosby, yeah, we say oh, we're going to talk about Bill Cosby. That's what you said. Right. Right. We're right? talking about Bill Cosby. We're talking so, about more things. I'm listening. But you you just said okay. So we we got to hold everybody accountable. We are. We just yeah. talking about Bill Cosby. Right. We are. Because this is the first one. This is the big first yeah, this one. This is the big first one, but I don't see nobody coming to the light and, and nobody's not saying about all those other motherfuckers is coming up doing shit. They already have. Who? The the Harvey Weinstein dude? Or who else besides that? What about the guy from ABC or whatever the fuck? See, you keep, I see, I don't know who you're talking about when you say that. Up. You're talking about Matt Lauer. Matt fucking Lauer. Matt Lauer. Yeah, well, he lost his job. And he's on TV. And, and uh, I believe he's probably got a case What's going up, too. He's probably got a case being built against him. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure saying. someone. These you, things take time though, man. It's power. These things take time. Remember, Bill Cosby's deposition power. was 2006. These things take time. That was 12 years ago. But he paid a lot of people off. I'm saying these things take time. You can't expect immediate. Over, like, you you can't something. expect immediate reactions in this. But that one girl from Tim was like a fucking man, yo. I'm like, no, Bill, what you thinking, man? No, he was in college. She, it don't matter. She like a fucking man. She walked like a fucking man. I seen her walk through the aisle like yo, Bill. But JJ has no face. It doesn't matter. She <laughs> like a fucking man. I mean, she plan- walk like one. She Paper bags like- exist. I mean, <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> saying. Bill, Bill, Bill. JJ has no face. Listen, we're gonna come back on the side, we're gonna finish it, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, luckily, that didn't happen to Kevin Hart. We're gonna come back on the other side. Luckily, God forbid. Just, don't don't jinx it, man. Come I'm on. I'm jinxing them, but at least it was just consensual sex. But uh, we about to get into it. Yeah. Okay. We're talking about the Bill Cosby case. We're talking about how uh, pretty much, you know, voicing our opinions on it. I feel like Bill, I think he, I'm not saying he did all 40, but I know he, me personally, I think he had something to do with some of these women. Um, getting um, sick and quaaludes, and I don't think it's right whether it's one or two. Um, I do also believe that you know uh, you, you got to, you know that power that he had pretty much probably took advantage of it at some point. Um, I feel like there's no reason for you to do that. You know, I'm not saying it could have been all forty, but it could have been some women. Could have been two or three. And that's enough. Could have been one. That's enough. Remember, he was only convicted yeah. for one of them. Right. This was only one case right. that he was now, convicted but, for. But you know how it is when people get raped and you got the statute uh, of limitations. Yeah, but you got a, a higher a dude that. But people. So this was the this was the argument, right? The argument was is that if these women was drug, how do they remember everything that happened? That was one of the arguments. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, this happened thirty years ago. You 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 all you all hide up. How do you remember everything that Bill did to you? See? That's a good point. So that's 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 the big question here. This is where I'm trying to get at. Like, okay, you was drugged up, but you remember everything. You didn't know what was going on. I think the drugs had them feeling groovy. They just didn't care what they was in front of that time. They just made things Maybe happen. Just I feel like I mean, if you wake up and you with soiled panties or you're naked, and when you didn't remember being naked, or regret. I mean, it not not regret, but feeling violated. I mean, I feel like you wake up and 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 you can. You you can tell sometimes. Right, you can tell. Super drunk and we right. Up, right. I mean, but my whole thing is like, what Bill did him? Like, he just had a like a a, a, a limo outside waiting from in the morning. But he had a limo outside. And, you know, <laughs> Not even limo, tax cab. Tax cab. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's is when something happens that is bad. You remember it. Yeah. If you wake up during and, sex, and sometimes and sometimes and sometimes you can remember things, but not be able to have the motor skills to move because it debilitates you. Right. You might not be able to control your yourself. So, so, you know, you might not be able to resist or so talk. Barbie Baby Love said exactly, and how how um, they remember years later over a decade. And then she says they drugged up and they remember everything years later. Question mark. No. So here's here's said. my thing. That's what she said. If you if something traumatic happens to you, uh huh, and I'm. 
something traumatic happens to you, there's going to be a time in your life where, because it's traumatic, it can be blocked out of your mind, mm -hmm. especially if you are drugged. When, but when you're reminded of it, or it somehow comes back to you, you remember every single detail. Right. Just coming from experience of my own. Um, hmm? Being, yeah. Hmm? Being, Wait being a big, no, and I'm not, I'm not being like, oh yeah, but seriously, when something traumatic happens in your life, you remember it. I don't, I don't Ooh. care what, what anybody says, um, if you can forget about it, it, if you forget about it or um, like and you don't remember every detail, when you probe into it, things can get uh, fuzzy. But at the end of the day, you're going to remember. Uh, it's like, oh, did, did he rape me? I'm going to say either yes or no. Like, it, that's how those women feel. It, they're going to remember, did I not want to have sex? Right. Yes mm -hmm. or no. Okay. How did it happen? Okay, so I don't remember every single detail, but what I do know is that I didn't want it. I woke up at this point. Uh -huh. I felt woozy at this point. And and from there, those are the biggest things. If you if you remember that, you have the case. Okay, okay. So I got Barbara on the line. Uh Barbara, now you said something. You said that you said that how they remember decades ago, and um, you said something was false. So what were you talking about, Barbara? Tell everybody where you're from. I was thinking when he's saying that you remember every detail, that's false. I took psychology, and you do not remember anything and everything by every single detail. It's impossible. It's impossible for you to remember every single detail for detail. Now you have been traumatized by something, and you will remember uh, the hard details that has been in your mind that is affecting you, but you will never prove a fact that you will never remember every single detail that there that happened. That's where your mind tricks you, uh -huh. and in the back of your head, you're like, okay, this happened to me, but it's not true. You will only remember the exact, like, you will remember, like, the main thing that happened. I think they knew they were drugged and they knew something happened to them. Right, you can't go. I don't think because, there was the exact because, details. Wait, 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 no. Let's start out one at a time. Go wait, ahead. when the thing is, is that none of these women said that I know every single thing. But when you're questioned, you answer every single question that they have. Because I, I want everybody to realize this. Because this was a, such an influential wait. woman, I mean, an influential man, uh, people like to to question this stuff. If a man is a rapist, he is a rapist. If something like that happens, something like that happens. Like, it, it, it's, it's a fact or it's fiction. He did it, yes, he did it. And if you say on camera, 
I did it, or if you say in court, I did it, then you did it. Point blank and period. It, we can't get over the facts here. Not everybody knows it, but when, again, when you get questioned, you answer these questions. You don't remember everything. That's just what it is. But you can't say that a woman is lying uh, because she knows what happened to her body. Let's not forget what he did and what he said that he did. Don't just like him because you're a fan. Like it, uh, know what he said was fact. Mm. Mm. So, 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 Bree, before you get out of here, just tell everybody where you're from. Where are you from? Atlanta. Atlanta? Okay, good. So shout out, shout out to Bar from Atlanta, whatever like that. So so your whole thing is is that if I'm not mistaken, you feel like if they remember 30 years ago, why they ain't seen something before, right? Right? Exactly. Okay. Like you say something then. Like okay. If he raped you and he harmed you so bad and it traumatized you. Right. Why So this Why is the, you doing that? So, and then so, you say things, they say things so they believe their story because they said it so for so much to so many people that they're believing their own lies. I highly doubt, like, what proof do you have because a woman got on stand and said that she was raped? A lot of women nowadays, a lot of women for years and decades have always blamed men for rape and mm. never raped. Because he raped him. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> one thing is this okay. one person is, is a lot of things that he's okay. like, Come on now. Like, I personally do not see Bill Cosby doing that. Period. And if he did do that to you, how come you're just now saying things years later? Like, what is the Thank you for chiming in. All right, thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Okay. No, so, so she was she was she was saying stuff that we already had made our right. points about. Right. Which right. is which is why women haven't come sooner. Which is right. You know, one, this is a person in power, of course. At the time, no one's who's going to believe Bill Cosby raped you. That's preposterous, right? And also, if no one's going to believe you, why bother coming out? Somebody right? said, These, "Do you know Bill's personality? We don't know how Bill is." We don't, know, we don't know how Bill is behind closed doors. We, don't. we know his stage presence. We know him in front of cameras. Right. People are different on and off He's camera. Can we focus on the facts? He, he raped people. We know that. And he admitted it. But I'm just saying, he why are you... Why? That's the part that I don't get. That's the part that I don't get. We just spoke to somebody who was saying it. Uh, she wasn't speaking about... Well, I can't. I just can't uh, imagine somebody doing, like, doing this. When he said it... We fo we're not focusing on that. He's the one that said it. How right. is this even a discussion anymore? He said it. He said it. Oh, I can't. I can't. Uh, he ain't do it. Oh, women just coming out and say da 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 da. No, women. women and also, come out and also, what they did. it's not just Please. now that it's happening. People have been saying this for a long time. Like I said, that deposition that he admitted in was 2005, 2006. So let me ask you a question. So he has to go to civil court, right? Well, he already went to court. I mean, it's over now. I mean, well, he's, he's I mean, got to go back for he's got to go back for the for the the civil, prosecution. Bill. So he's not going to do like a civil where he where he did these these other allegations. No, there's no settling. No, he's no, he's going to go to jail. jail. <laughs> he's he's got t three charges. Each one's ten ten years apiece. They're going to probably run a concurrent. Damn, thirty years. Thirty years he's not for one. Get, he's not going to get for one. For one. He's not Just for what? one. For he's one. The years. only one that happened within the statute of limitations. He's not going to get 30 years. We're going to come back to the side. R.B. Reese is in the building. He's going to talk about everything. He's going to talk about his tour with Patrick Bell. His dope, Bill Cosby thing. Hey, man, you know, I would hope that Bill, you know, uh, he would use a condom or something. I don't know. I don't, okay. think, I don't think Bill would use a condom. I don't think he's Bill would. He's using date rape drugs. I don't think he's yeah, using yeah. raw dog. I think that boy was going crazy. But, you know, still <laughs> shout out to Bill, man. He's from North Philly, man. I'm 
wish you would have just done things a little bit more better. I mean, I wish that cameras was around. You signed a, dis a minute disclosure when you were a superstar, but I think when you got that power, things go crazy, man. You J. Cole, man, ATM, count it up. You come back down the side, R&B, Reese, man. We talking about everything. Terrence Samuels the best show in the world. Ashes in the building. Shane's in the building. Brittany, assistance in the building. We here. Let's get it. Let's go. We here. Uh, we see you. Mm -hmm. Ah, we'll be back on the side. About now, this dude got the only one that can get away for wearing his hair the way that he do. You know what I'm saying? He got the army jacket on. He got the damn chain links on. He's doing this thing. He's touring around playing the bell. Let's give it up for a warm, special welcome for my man, Reese R.B. Bill. Everybody, Reese R.B. Bill. Everybody, what's good, Reese? What's good? What's good? What's good, man? How are you? I'm great, bro. You know, we've been working on this for a while, trying to get on this show with you, man. I know it's been a while. It's been like two years since you've been trying to get on this show. Thank you. Yeah, like the last time I was here, I was yeah. here with screws and them. Yeah, we was here with those screws and everything, but now you here. I'm here, man. You're here now. You got a lot going on right about now. You, you, you touring and stuff like that. Dog, it was definitely a blessing. Yes, I um, was definitely on a small tour. I paid the bell. You know, she took me under her wing as my mentor. It's been amazing, man. It's been nothing but great things happening. So, so what's so how did this pay the bell? Like, how did this pay the bell? Like, you, like, like, how did that happen? Pay the bell? Like, how did that happen? It's crazy. Like, it's just a... Wait a minute, before we start, I'm gonna say well, before, before we even start, he said that he's touring and with Pay the Bell and she took my his win. We all know that this is Pay the Bell. <laughs> okay, Pay the Bell. Go ahead, I'm listening, man. Icon, go ahead. Icon isn't the word, man. She's just a humble, beautiful spirit. Like the way I got it. The way I got in touch with her and you know close to her is because of my manager Edward Leak. Uh -huh. um, he's actually her assistant, and that's my manager. So you know, by being my manager, by her being her assistant, it just it just happened, <laughs> and it's just been nothing but greatness ever since, man. Just the constant wisdom. She has such high expectations of me, bro. She's heard basically my album. She loves the entire album. I just sent her a new song that I recorded last week, and she called me on the phone. She was like, Reese. It's a hit, boy. It's a hit. I said, what? So, so my thing is this, man. You got to pay the bill co man. Right. Like, my, I understand you want to grind. You want to, you know, you, you got to, you got to connect. Right. Like, just, just she, all she got to do is make one phone call and it's, it's, it's on. <laughs> like, like, why not use that? Like, why do we, I mean, we do, look, you, sub, you solidify your point of the fact that she bangs with you. Why not let her just make the phone? Why not? Because I like the process. You like the process. I like the grind. I don't want nothing handed to me on the silver platter. Okay, mm -hmm. I made the connection. That's great, but I want everybody to know me from my work and not just because I paid the phone. Hey, y'all got this artist. You know, he's definitely dope. Mm -hmm. You don't give him a shot. Mm -hmm. I want them to see me be like, yo, we want to work with him. And that's what's been happening. And that's what's been happening. So I let, I let her homie hear, hear, when, hear the song. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, she, no, no, no. She liked the song. She was singing, so she liked the song herself. You know what I'm saying? She thought it was actually dope. You know what I mean? I just feel like, you know, man, I, if it was me, I don't know, Reese, I think I'd just let Pay the Bell make that phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'd let Pay the Bell make that phone call, bro. I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, why not, man? But you've but you been, you been, like, quiet for a very long time. Because we've been knowing each other. You've been telling me, bro, I got all these songs. I'm doing these things. And then this is, like, you, you went through a, a whole situation with yourself where it's, though, you know, it, everything took time before all this happened. Like, what, 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 what was it before you actually got the single out? Cause, it, cause you got the one song single out and everything. Right, right. But what was it before all that? Like, what was going on? Because I'm trying to figure out why was you doing this before. So I was doing it before, but it was basically, you know, different management issues. You know, trusting people mm -hmm. that I really couldn't trust. Um, giving people a chance, like having my family. Because before I had my manager that I have now, I had two other managers, a male and then I had a female. But the male, he actually, he was my cousin, and he scammed me out of uh, some bread for a shit. You're a female you, you linked up with. Yeah, the female, um, yeah. I met her through my old producer that yeah. I was working with. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> it was not like that, bro. Yeah. No, so I met the female through my last producer or whatnot. Yeah, we was in the studio yeah, the yeah, night. I know she And she was, was like, Reese, I like you, man. I want to work with you. What she do? Shut up. Sure. Said, no, go ahead, go ahead. But no, like, I met the other chick uh, mm -hmm. when I was in the studio with my producer or whatnot. You know, we was going to be like a dynamic trio or whatnot. Um, you know, we gelled together, but things happened within their relationship. And right. And I did not understand how to separate business from pleasure. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what took place. And then, you know, we just fell off and I just had to just 
chill and just find somebody that can really like build me as a as an artist, as a brand, and understand my work and what I'm trying to mm-hmm. make happen. Mm-hmm. And what's crazy is that I knew Ed throughout the entire process. Right. I knew the connection that he had, but it's just like I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. But then as time went on, I'm just like, you know what? I can wait. I can curse, right? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I said, fuck, fuck that. Fuck on it. Yeah, yeah, I said, fuck, fuck, fuck all that. that. You know, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, fuck that. It's time to, it's time to grind and go take this to another level. And that's mm-hmm. what I did, man. And there's been great things ever since. Great things. So how was it like, you know, you on the road. So <clears> is it like you on the road with Panty? Yeah. So the first show. It was lit. <laughs> like, t- tell me about the experience you being with Patty and the first show you went on. And you was out there in front of all those people. Just looking how was it? <clears throat> How was it? They, was, they was, so was, was, was there any groupies in the back after the show? Was over? <laughs> was it like women lined up ready to go? They definitely ran to the front of the stage and I started doing my thing. So wow! It, it, was, <laughs> it was definitely dope. You know, it was wow. definitely a surreal, a, so, a surreal experience performing in front of a sold out crowd for each show. It was amazing, man. It was absolutely amazing. You know, the connection that came from it, the real personalities that I met. Um, the shows that I've gained, <laughs> like, dog, it's just. I know it's amazing. It's coming. It's coming. It's yeah, I know. Surely, That's I'm what working. she was saying when she was in the studio with you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that, man. Hey, hey listen, hey, we gotta be entertainment here, man. Come on, I'm just saying. Yo, you wild for that. I'm just saying, what? It's just how it works, man. Like you in the, you in the studio? You know what I mean? Okay, I'm about to have it. <laughs> I guess my got a couple of those records for y'all, so I'm gonna work. Wow, then they forget it. They don't even need their man. The R&B Reason say he just gonna blow inside the microphone and you put yourself on the speaker, then it'll be all good from there. They have a nightcap in there. <laughs> That's how work too. <laughs> so what's the, what's the, what's, so let me ask you something. So how did you get started? I mean, I know you've been doing it for a long time. What was right. it that made you want to sing? Like, I want to know, what, what, what was it that make you felt like you could just, you know, what was it? Could you sing good right away? Or was it was the process for you? No, I wasn't even a singer in the year, bro. What was your rapper? No. I was a trumpet player. I played in the, in the orchestra. Trumpet? Real rap, yeah, bro. Oh. I was a trumpet player. I played in the orchestra. And, uh, mm-hmm. I just watched how much more love the artist would get that's in the front. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I want that. Because we got love, too. We did. But I'm like, they got all the love. So I was like, you know what? I want that. And um, I was actually in elementary school, so... I was in like the sixth grade, so seventh grade, yeah, I went to my teacher. I was like, uh, no, I was fifth, I was fifth grade. Right, right. So my sixth grade, yeah, I went to my teacher, I'm like, listen, I'm gonna sing. Mm-hmm. He was like, James, then you know, uh, you got me in seventh grade, eighth grade, blah, 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 to do the show. But he was like, you know what, I like you, so I'm gonna give you a chance. Uh, you can get a show, that, a song that nobody wants. I'm like, hey, that's cool, give it to me. And you know, <laughs> I um, went on stage with two other people um, doing Let It Snow. The, um, they let it snow my voice in No, the other one. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, fire is so delightful, since we've no place to go. Whatever that one is, I don't know. Okay. But it's still last time. It's still last time, it's still last time. Yeah, that Christmas one. So I did that, and um, once I did that, I had a standing ovation, and it was just, I was like, damn, this is what I want, this is what I want to do. The love, I see my mom crying, my sixth grade teacher crying, I'm like, you know what? You need a sixth grade teacher crying? Yeah, yeah. I should go. <laughs> I was asking, man. What? She was, she was, she was old enough to be my grandma. Oh, all right, dang. <laughs> you know, some of these young teachers today, man, I'd be like, yeah. Well, if I had a young teacher like this today, man, she'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're Johnson. God damn. You teach math? <laughs> I'll be under this Johnson every day. I'll be the teacher's pet for the world. Add and this subtracting, man. Add and this subtracting division. Oh, <laughs> um, um, Definitely. But no kids, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. So, all this is, so you'd like to single out. I'm not going to play now because it's still early. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to play that right now because I feel as though we're going to say that for the last. Um, so, my whole thing is that what's the upcoming events now that you got going on? As far as like, you, you know, pay the bell and all like that. What other things you got going on? I'll now? Wait for you to ask that question. Yeah, I know I was going to ask you, man. I had to ask you. So. My next event, which is one of my biggest events for this year, which is going to be one of my many biggest events for this year, besides uh, the tour, I'll be at the Wills, Wills Fargo Online, the Leah Court Center, Wednesday, May 2nd. 
It's gonna be me, um, Kiki Palmer, mm. uh, Jandena, uh, uh, Jen, what's his name? Jendek. Uh, Jendek. What? Who? What? Uh, what? I said, uh, no, you me, said no, me, Kiki Palmer, Jandena, Kelly Rowland, uh, Chill Moody, um, uh, other oh, kind of artists. Oh, oh, oh. Did you say Kelly Rowland? Yeah, I'm talking about baby Kelly Rowland. Yeah, yeah. She gonna be there with me? Yeah, she's gonna be on me second. Yeah, talk, yeah, I'm just singing, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Chill Moody, we have another artist coming up by the name of Naya the Artist. She's an up and coming artist. Um, she's definitely dope, 13 years old. She got, she has a powerhouse voice, y'all. Powerhouse voice. Um, and oh, and last but not least, of course, um, guest speaker Michelle Obama with many more other artists as well. What? Michelle Obama? Right. Man, I always had a damn Michelle Obama for <laughs> Let me tell you, boy, the way she walked out with them one feet, all respect to Obama, and I'm just saying, man. <laughs> <laughs> respect, respect Michelle about you, though. You're the first lady, for real. For real. So, for are real. you excited about that? I mean, you want to see these people, these great people that's going to perform and everything like that. Is it something? I'm excited, bro. Like, I'm ecstatic. I'm just, wild. I'm grateful that all the work that I've been putting in for all these years is now finally starting to pay off. You know, because us as artists, people only see. The glitz and the glamour when we're on the stage and we're performing in front of them, you know. Mm. Um, when we're here doing the radio interviews, they never know the stuff that goes on in the background. You what know? goes on in the background? <laughs> <laughs> the, of course, the writing processes, you know, the the scams that go on. You're trying to create a team, you know, the disorganization. Just some days when you can't pay your bills and stuff, you know, because you're struggling out here. Yeah, right? I know about that. I mean, shit get real, man. You know, get real, man. but they only see it. Yeah. Glitz and the glamour, but you know, that's the first time I ever supposed to put off. But people need to know what Ray goes on in the background. So, is R&B Reese messing with anybody now? It's time you won't do that. <laughs> or you have a couple, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if you do it. I mean, it's fine. No, no, no. I'm, I'm single, man. You single? Sure. So, you have a couple, though. Yeah, I got, I'm single and mingling. You single, single and mingling? Single and mingling. Yeah, they call you up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Back to the show. Oh, you know, Can I come, Can I come? Yeah, you take it for me. What I gotta do? Say no, I'm just joking. <laughs> We're gonna come back on the other side of the Tanner Savage show. I'm about to get into something real quick. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna take it back just a little bit, man. I'm just gonna take the prick around front of China. Just something about that song, man. We come back, we in the building. Let's do it. We back in the building. We got R and B Reese in the building, man. So you going by R and B Reese or you going by Reese? I go by Reese, but you know y'all call me. On so let me ask you a question, cause of, cause you got Tyrese. <laughs> right. That's not going to intervene with that, is it? <laughs> no. Okay, good. <laughs> sure, man. So when we expecting the album? Or you gonna are you gonna put out an album, or you wanna wait and just do like an EP or something like that? No, I'm dropping an album. I'm dropping an album. So okay. y'all got the single I am off out right now, so yeah. I'm gonna drop another single probably about two three months and mm -hmm. then three four months after that, I'm gonna drop an album. So if I don't drop the album this year. By like September, then I'm gonna drop it in January of next year. Is it gonna be independent, or are you gonna, or are you looking to be on the label? Are you gonna? Uh... So I wanted to be on the label, but I changed my mind. I'd rather be independent. Independent? Yeah. You must talk. <laughs> <laughs> Has some talks. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some talks okay. Can you ask you something, man? Does her sweet potato pie really taste good, like the way that everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know she had, I know she had the keys on that sweet potato pie. Come on, man. Listen, bro. I haven't had the pie yet because she just moved into a new crib, so she. Okay. I haven't been at my new crib yet, so no. Okay. Yeah. But trust me, I've been. I'm like, yo, I'm Pat. Listen, the next time you come home and throw down. Right. I'm trying to come by and get a plate. I want to. <laughs> right. Let me know. Like, because she can burn, bro. My manager always tell me, like, yo, Pat can burn. I'm like, I bet she can. I, I can believe it. I know man. she can. I believe she can make plate. Oh, man. Hey. Shout out to my manager Edward Leak if you're listening, because right now they're in I think Miami or LA. Well, he might up in Miami and make moves. Get out there doing doing some work. He pushing work for you, right? <laughs> pushing work for me as well as you know. He's out there with iPad. Right oh, now. iPad. Okay, yeah, okay. They, yeah. they out right now, so okay. So um, that being said, <coughs> Toronto paying the bill. We about to do the thing May second. Uh, you know that's college signing day. Yeah, college signing day. That's dope. You know, you're doing that, you got that the single out, you got that popping now, you know what I mean? Ladies dropping drawers and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You letting all the girls hearing that. Where does it put you at right now in your life, man? Like does it does this create a milestone for you or you feel as though it's a lot more that you have to do? I mean I'm sure it's a lot more, but what do you, do you feel comfortable? Has you going on or do you just feel like 
I could be ten times better than where I'm at right now. I always feel like I should be better. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not gonna say I'm comfortable because I'm not comfortable just worrying about grinding right now and being better than I was yesterday. Mm -hmm. So it's just a continuous grind process for me. Like, and the way my mind works is that I'm never gonna stop grinding. I'm never gonna stop being hungry because the moment I stop is the moment I think I'm gonna fail. Or better yet, <clears throat> I'll say it like this. I will always be looking to learn things from everybody. Right. All my peers, people that are just coming into the game. Because mm -hmm. I feel like when you feel like you know everything in this game, that's when you'll, you will begin to feel because you think that you cannot learn nothing. And there's always something to learn. Mm -hmm. So I'm always trying to learn. I'm always grinding. And I'm never going to stop. Do you ever feel like, you, you, did you ever co-write for anybody? Like, sign, like a couple songs for people? Nope. Um, no. But no, my own music. I have, I have had co-writers. On my projects. No, I mean, you ever, did you ever write for somebody? No, I'm not sure. No, no, but you are. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't asked, but I've really? been man, I've been at just. But I've been focusing on like. What was it? Was it anybody big? <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. Nobody's not gonna know. Nobody's not gonna know. Just tell us right here. <laughs> no, just a couple of cover artists, but no. Okay, I got you. Now, what do you think your your sound is? And not that not that that you have to compare because right, right, I, right. I really don't want you to do that. But what do you think your sound is? Just I want to make it that big so you can go. <laughs> what my sound is? Mm -hmm. My sound is me. My sound is who I am as an individual. Now who I've been compared to? <laughs> um, Night the artist's mother also managing this team, and she always says that I kind of symbolize or resemble. What Tank does. Do I hear me? I knew it! I was about to say it, man. Go ahead, I'm going to go ahead, all right, I'm going to go ahead. Listen, so you know I have to say Tank, go ahead. Right. Do, do I think so? No. Do I accept that compliment? Hell yeah, I do. Because Tank, first of all, Tank's vocal abilities is crazy. When we? When we? Yeah, you already know. Mm -hmm. uh, am I there yet? I'm getting there. I always feel I'm going to be there. Can I sing him off or so? Can I do what he can do? Yes. Can I do it as good? Not yet. But can I do it good enough to get your pants wet? I can do it damn good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, that being said, you know, we sit here at 7 minutes, 7 past. It's uh, uh, five, 5 minutes after the hour. So, let me ask you something. So, we got that effect, man. We're going to get. I, I want you to sing, man. I want you to sing. I'm, I'm going to put this Instagram live. It takes a while before people come to my room. Man. That's about good. 15 <laughs> strong minutes before somebody comes yes. in there. Maybe a little lame that. But once they come in, I want you to sing. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put this back on live real quick. Uh, I, I, and I want I want you to uh, what you call it? Sing for the ladies out there. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you're always getting asked to sing, right? Always, bro. Let me ask you something. So, what was a bad time? You ever have a bad show? Have I had a bad show? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Um. I'm going to say yes and no, and the reason why I say that is because every show, I always feel like I can do better than what I did. Mm. And have I been satisfied with some shows? Yes. You ever get booed? No. Mm. Haven't got booed. Nothing. I got booed for doing comedian stuff. They don't even boo you. They just don't say nothing to you. They just look at you like you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? You're not funny. You get hecklers in comedy. Huh? You get hecklers in comedy. Yeah, you get great, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good, I man. You ain't getting no boos, man. You on your way. Yeah, no, I get booed. Do I plan on getting booed? No. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you. So what happened if you did get booed? How would you handle that? I don't know, bro. <laughs> You're not gonna stop if you did. Oh, of course not. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. All right. I'm just asking, man, because you know, sometimes you may run into a. I'm not saying that you won't. You probably never will. But you may come into. Never a say never. You never say never. I'm just trying to be like, you know, political correct answer right now and shit. But you just never know, like you said, you may come into a situation where you may get heckled. Right. You know, people may not, you know, not saying that it happened, but, you know, um, it may come up where you may have a stumble block. You know, you, you, know, you don't want to make sure you had that, you know. Oh, we got a, oh, we got a lady in here, Boss Diva. <laughs> oh, what? She left. She got scared. <laughs> we'll get somebody else up in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, um, let me give a shout out to my own producer, CJ. Like I said, my manager, Edward Leak, and also Andre. Love y'all, man, for real. 
Sports. And also my homie Rashida Finnessy, who's the mother of a side Finnessy, who's a two-time liver transplant survivor who was also has a liver lemonade. If you go to what is it, uh, asizeliverfund.org, you can go purchase um, your soap bars. She's actually getting ready to go to the Essence Festival um, to further her brand. So my entire team is grinding, man. We're all working. That's dope. So you say she, she, was, a, she was a survivor? Yeah, she's a two-time liver transplant survivor. She, um, the one who shares a liver with Bobby Rondell. Bobby Rondell. Yeah, um, way old school. Back gotcha. Rock, rock and roll. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. So let me ask you something. So when's the next tour coming? <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> it's coming, bro. I mean, I'm just not, you know, I mean, I know it's coming. You know what I'm just asking. All right, so we got a lady in. So now we can now you can sing and then she can tell all her girlfriends to come in the room. So I'm gonna hear you blow, man. It's seven, it's seven, it's after eight. So Reese, I gotta hear you blow. You're gonna sing twice. Okay, you're gonna sing here for this girl for, for her, and then we gonna we gonna get it popping. Go ahead. I gotta I gotta hear you going. You gotta sing. <laughs> girl, I'm in love with you. This ain't the honeymoon. Pass me in the fatuation phase. Oh, Right in the thick of love. At times we get sick of love. It seems like we argue every day. I know I misbehave. You made your mistakes. We both still got room left to grow. And though love sometimes hurt, I still put you first. We'll make this thing work. But I think we should take it slow. We're just Ordinary people Cause we don't know which way to go mm. Keep going man, keep going, <laughs> you gotta keep going man. Now I gotta sing something Ordinary people Maybe we should take it slow Take it slow oh. Or This time we'll take it slow I, I just got a text message. Somebody was like, that boy better keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 no, that was dope. That was dope. That was dope, man. I appreciate that, man. So, um. Shout out to my cousin Gloria. She's telling me right now. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, shout out to Gloria, man. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Gloria. We're going to come back another side of the So, I've been listening. We've been listening. I've been listening. I've been rocking out with the J. Cole album for a while. That's on fire, isn't it? Uh, All right, so what's your favorite song on the album? I like it. I'm not gonna fraud. I'm very transparent. I like all the Cole songs, man. I like J. Cole and Perry because he's a lyricist. And right. I just vibe to his music all the time. You like all of them? I like all of them, bro. I like I love like, I've liked every album you've ever put out. Really? Every album. I like all of them too. I'm just trying to figure out where they at because I just put them in. <laughs> I was looking and I had everything set up and then all of a sudden when I came back over here as we started talking. Oh, somebody had gave you heart eyes too. She looked good too. You might as well just keep singing, bro. Because you know you, you're doing good for the show right now. What other song you like singing? Because she, she anytime he, oh, one girl got her tongue out. Hey, listen, man. I don't know who this girl is. I'm not telling you what to do, bro. But all I'm saying is, you got women with their tongues out on this joint. I'm just saying you might have seen like one more good song before I find this song real fast, good brother. I right, see. Um, my, 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 you sure look good tonight. And you're so damn fine, you got me saying, my, 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 yeah, you sure look good tonight. Yes, you do. Put on your red dress and slide on those high heels. And some of that sweet perfume, it just smells good on you. Slide on your lipstick and let all your hair down. Cause baby, when you get through, girl, I'm gonna show off of you, yeah. That was dope. So, um, Biracial Baby 215 said, You sound amazing. I love you, baby. Yeah. Oh, he had, he had to hit it on that. He had the R&B shit. I love you, baby. <laughs> I, I love you, baby. We're going to get into some J. Cole right now, man. K.O.D., man. The Terrence Henry Show. We're going to come in on the side. R&B beats in the building. The legend, Prince of Philly. We're going to get on the side. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
that you need me to be. Forget that I'm a guy. You supposed to be with me. That cool? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> that was dope. That was dope. I'm just appreciating the love and the heart that I'm getting on my page right about now, man. I appreciate the love I get from y'all, man. Nah, man, it's cool, man. Let me ask, this your first radio interview? Say what, bro? Is your first radio interview? No. No, no, no. Tell me where every radio interview you did. You sound good, because I, you know what I'm saying? That's why, you know. I sound good, but I sound rusty. You look great. No, I'm just talking about, like, y'all look interview-wise, you know, because sometimes you get new people, and everything that they say is maybe facts. (laughs) Oh, we, oh my gosh. Facts. Yeah, facts. Yeah, so what's the song mean? Well, first of all, it's facts. <laughs> <laughs> it's facts. Well, because you probably had New Yorkers, man. You know New Yorkers say facts. Because that's how <laughs> people say For real? For real right. I didn't even know New Yorkers say Philly people say a lot too. No, New York say a lot. My producer, every time we talk, facts. I, I thought it was sun. No, they, they it was that too, but it's more so. Well, facts. you could say no, facts, son. It's, no, you could put both of no, them together. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you could say word, word to your mother. What? <laughs> no, 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 what do you mean word to my too, motherfucking man. mother? What you talking about? You word is born. You be like, wait she a minute. Say all the time, word is yo. That's that's my shit. The word is born. I say you that too. You don't know if they mad at you. You don't know if they trying to come at you. You like, wait a minute. What? What you mean, word to my mother? Yeah, that sounds like a diss. Yeah, it is a diss. <laughs> Anybody from Philly is a diss. Like, a word to my mother? Are oh, we going to see that when we get outside? <laughs> when we're going to see. <laughs> so, Ash, anything you got to ask R.D. Reese? Um, yes. I like your nose. Oh, thank you. I'm going to Oh, <laughs> shit. You know, um, right? Oh, yeah, I know. I see you. <laughs> like, Who said your nails look nice? Say, <laughs> like, no, go ahead. I'm listening. Um, my question for you is how. I know when you went on tour and everything, and it was over. It, it may have been overwhelming for the women to like come at you. Uh, how has that been? Um, I mean, I don't know since you've been singing. How has it? How has it changed from like you? You know, women wanting you to like women want you. You know. Well, I'm just on another level, so I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this sounds like some R&B shit. <laughs> I'm a bad rebound. Hey, how's the women when it's coming to you? No, I'm just, I'm just on another level. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so no, go ahead. Yeah, I'm my bad. I've, I've always, I've always had not to sound kind of not kind. No, no, you good, bro. You know, as an artist, you always have different women always coming to you, especially as a singer, because what woman, what woman don't like a man to sing to him? So I've always had women come to me, but now I have. Wow, <laughs> man. Exposure. And you don't use no condoms, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. I, I, you don't, I, you I don't use my brothers, bro. I can say it. And that takes away all the feeling, man. Yeah, that takes away all the burning, man. I'm just messing with you, Reese. I'm messing with you, man. I try to cook. Do so you have any stalkers or anything like that? We talked about bro, this. I told you about that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she still calling you? No, nah, bro. No, nah, bro. I blocked her. You blocked her. But what ways to say that she don't try to come on another page or something like when another phone number and call you? Bro, she did before, but then I just like I just stopped answering. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just let her be. I just let her be great. Wow, well, that's good. <laughs> now you know on your way up that you're gonna have. So we were talking about the Cosby thing, right? Right, right, we're right. talking about how Bill pretty much didn't put Quaaludes in girls' drinks, had them feeling comfortable. You know what I mean? I guess he felt like he was getting moist, you know, whatever the case may be. And it backfired on him because now he ain't he about to go to prison, right? No, they said he was giving probation, right? That's it? No, not probation. I mean, house arrest. I mean, I think what is that? That's what I heard on the news. Alright, well, we'll figure it out. I gotta look and do my research. But yeah, right I haven't heard that. I've heard new. That's my special day. Alright, so, mm-hmm. right, so we'll find out, right? So my whole thing is this. Bill's 80 years old. He claimed he can't see. I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? I think his ass can see. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that this motherfucker's blind. But shout out to Bill once again. So you an R&B singer, right? Okay, it's gonna be a lot of women coming after you. It's gonna be a lot of women and everything like that. The one thing that scares me a lot when you're on your way to success is that it could be a point where it's consensual to you. Is that the right word I'm using? Right? Consensual? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, that's okay, right. Good. I just want to make sure, because one time I said the wrong word, my grandma called me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to make sure I'm saying the right thing. So, do you ever get in the back of your mind if you guys hook up with a young lady, whatever, y'all kicking it, and then, you know, 
ask you my phone to date. But um, <laughs> do you ever feel like it could happen again? Do I feel like it could happen again? I mean, like, like for like, like not from you, but like, you ever feel like kind of scared, like a girl could like pop up and just like, oh well, you know, this could happen. Who doesn't, bro? Like, because people make those stories all the time, so you don't know whether whether it can happen or not. You know, people just go by word of mouth, right? You know? Yeah. That's that's the type of stuff that's always to be determined. That's he say, she say. Mm -hmm. But I would know the truth, and you would know the truth. You just at the end of the day, the truth will set you free. You know, and all that fraud shall come to the light. It will. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Reese. Like, I'm mean, kind of <clears> figure, like, you know, you tell somebody about your own radio show, look at your YouTube, you don't know what people's intentions are, man. That's true, shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll be kind of wary. You know what I mean? I'll be kind of like, you know, don't know what to do. Like, you want to go out on a date? I keep receipts, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> I keep receipts, man. He's weird, bro. No, I keep the receipts. <laughs> Let them know, like, look, on this day in 2000, such and such, <laughs> wait a minute, let me go to my box real quick. That wasn't like that. You got to keep all text messages. You got to keep I don't down. my text messages, bro. I got all my text messages on my phone. From when she was calling me, all the wild shit she was in about, you know, like, you, know you got to screenshot them, put them in your iCloud, because sometimes they delete. That's all in my phone and in my emails. I don't play that shit. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Like when this um person was trying to um, slander my name, I'm not going to talk about it, but this person was trying to slander my name and slander my integrity. Mm. Um, my people who was in the community of musicians, you know, started reaching out to me like, yo, Reese, is this really cool? what's going on? I'm like, no, man. Like, this is what happened. Explain to them the situation about how they tried to steal my stuff and, you know, mm. maybe about this bad guy. But for people who know who I am and know my integrity, know that that shit wasn't real. So... She was more so known for being the, how do you say it, uh, slider in the community, so. Uh, you think Bill did it? <laughs> I plead the fifth. Come on, man. Smart answer, oh, honestly. You know what it is? I get it. I, I know. Okay, all right, I get it. Okay, I get it. He's got to remain neutral to appeal to all sides. He's I got it. He's got, he's, got a, he's got a brand to maintain. Okay, I understand. What, this a brand shit? I say it. Bill did that shit. The fuck? Bill fucking did it, okay? We're not going to sit around here like Bill was just not all 40 of them just was just trying to set his ass up. Okay? All right? He said it when he's walking to the court. Hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? How Quay ludes every day. He wasn't. Yeah, exactly. Come on, man. He did that shit. One or two or three or four or five. You never know. He probably got an addiction. He probably starting to get consistent and good at it. Okay, see, you got to. You gotta put the pill to the left and swing it down a little bit. Stir it up a little bit like that. Put a little bit of dab of jello in that bitch and have her going. Have her going. Now watch what I'm going to right. feel it. Like, oh my God, Terrence, you are so disrespectful. How dare you talk about the victims that's been doing that shit. They live and free right now. When this shit happened, they had glass bottles of Pepsi. <laughs> And if it was, what was the point that they was doing? Typewriting. That's <laughs> the point. I know. It's just ah! You know what He's a fucking asshole. How dare he do this? And it'll probably be the one white girl like, oh my god, I watched the show. And he sat there, he was talking to an R&B singer, and he said that it was Pepsi bottles that were glass and it wasn't plastic yet. And I don't understand. I don't know what Because that's doing. what she's upset about. Right. <laughs> he had, Bill must have been hot as shit with that sweater on, man. Like, he, he, I, I, think, I think he was role playing. I think the motherfucker <laughs> act like he was Huxtable. When he walked in, he he wasn't Bill at the time. That motherfucker was Huxtable and shit. Like, yo, I'm gonna keep the sweater on and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sweat a little bit, but I'm gonna keep the sweater on while we do this. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, man. You gotta have you gotta laugh at this shit, man. You know what I mean? But in all due respect, man, I hope that um from from the victims, you know, uh, you know, I hope uh, that they recover from it. Um, Actually, it's kind of late. I think they should be fine now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ash. <laughs> I just saw the look on your face. <laughs> like, you You're fucking asshole. You are better Wait, you, you, asshole. you are a disrespectful <laughs> bitch. You should be dissing you, you asshole. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I'm just saying, man. I just, every time I see Bill, I just start laughing. Every time I see a pudding pot. 
I'm just. Hey, hey, look. I'm sorry. <laughs> <You're trying to laughs> <let me. laughs> so I'm sorry, man. This shit. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know if Bill did it or not. Okay, I just feel like. You don't know he did it or not. He said. He did it. He said. He said in 2000. When he said he did what again? 2001. He said 2005. He did it. All right, this is 2018. Why? Why is he just now going to jail? Because it takes a long time. Okay, well he did it, but why he cursing? So this is what I heard. Reed. I heard that Bill was actually cursing out people. And uh, he cursed out the prosecutor or somebody? Yeah. yeah One did. of the things he said was that someone suggested that he had a private jet and that if they let him, if they didn't they didn't prosecute him today, that he could leave the country at any time he wanted Where to. Where the fuck he gonna go? But the thing is, Where the, the thing is, go? he stands up and goes, stands up and goes, uh, I think he referred to himself in the third person. He, he goes, he doesn't have a private, a, a fucking private, or a, a private jet, asshole. And then he gets up and storms out of the... And the storm's out of the courtroom. You, but Bill, you do have a private jet. I'm sure you do. You're Bill Cosby. You know what I mean? He's doing by Jello. You know what I mean? Just oh, yeah. I, I, I would not be surprised if he <laughs> did not. Why he if he had a private, if he had okay. a private jet. Every, it's, there's a whole lot of room for Jello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh my god, We're man. killing them, Did man. you see that one girl that jumped <laughs> out? And then she was like, damn it, damn it, damn it. And that one girl with the fro, the light-skinned girl, she had all the victims on her body and shit. And Bill acted like he wasn't blind and shit. Act like he didn't see her. He was like... <laughs> but he saw... <laughs> Did you see the video of him walking into the court? <laughs> Yo, you ain't see that, Reese? The girl jumped in. What'd she say? She's like, ah, I got it. What? Screaming and shit. Bill saw it perfectly and whatever like that. But he trying to make it seem like he ain't see her and shit. They said, oh, he's completely blind. So my whole thing is this, right? You said that he walked out and said he don't have a jet, right? Yeah. If you blind, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> <laughs> the thing, that's the thing. is like everyone says he, he can't see, but he, he he stormed out of that courtroom pretty easily. He's legally blind. That's the story he's <laughs> sticking I'm legally wild. <laughs> oh, man, I can't. I'm sorry. This is, I'm sorry. This shit is my love. Like, I'm not listening. I don't know. Look, Bill said he did it in 2000, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? I just. Hey. Dude, crying. Like, this shit is fucking. This shit to me, I'm trying not to make shit. No, I'm like, I'm, I try not to laugh, man. But it kind of makes you. I got to laugh at it because it's scary at the same time because we are entertainers. And we, you're going to run into women all the time that either want you or just want the situation. They're plotting. You know what I'm saying? And you come to women like, oh, I'm going to be rich. You see? You know what I'm saying? Let me get you some here. You know what I'm saying? You may like, like, ah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what you may have. You may be drunk. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know Becky's got a good lawyer. Yeah, yeah. You know she's got a good lawyer. Her dad her. is the lawyer. <laughs> That's yeah. right. She, she, is, she, she is the lawyer. So, Maurice, what do you feel about it? I know you can't really give your whole perspective on it, but what do you feel about it? Bro, come on, man. We all talking, man. Come on. What? Did, look, if you, look, if you say Bill did it, all of them are going to side with you any fucking way. So what's the point? You better say that to you. You fine. I just gave you an answer to say, you didn't catch on. <laughs> I plead the fifth. I still plead the fifth. That's cool. Man. Shout out to Bill North Philly man from Richard Island. I believe you said he was from. Shout out to Meek for getting out. Right. Yeah, shout Meek out to Meek Mills out, bro. Yeah, Meek Mills out. He went right from the jet to the Sixers game. Ain't like, that some shit? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, man. He rang the bell. They had him in a turtleneck. I ain't seen one of them bitches since 1995. <laughs> 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 I mean, just a Sixers shirt. Why you got that man in a sports turtleneck for cracking the bell? You trying to have my man out here looking crazy. You see this turtleneck he had on? I mean, he didn't even go around the jersey, bro. I swear, I thought we was in 95. I'm like, meet man. Why'd he have that guy take? Why? Why? I mean, you a billionaire. The guy the owner's a billionaire. Okay, you said he had a set ready for him. You know? Like, come on. got that man. He in the front of the Sixers game with a turtleneck on, man. He don't do that to you, man. Not a turtleneck. 
If you was to get out, right, Reese? Okay. If you was to get out, would you want me to bring you a turtleneck? No. Exactly, man. He had a turtleneck on. Ain't nothing wrong with them, boss. Ain't nothing wrong with turtlenecks. I'm not gonna lie, I like turtlenecks. Now, it depends on how you wear the turtleneck. Right? Now, if you got a turtleneck on with a nice blazer, I get that. But he had a jersey on. <laughs> wait, the tur wait, the jersey was over? It was like a halfway turtleneck, kind of like creeping up the neck. You know, it was, it was, a little collar. It was like a sports, it was like one of them joints you get from like uh, TJ Maxx or like Ross that be in a little five ten ninety nine. Oh, no. right? That's what that turtleneck looked like, man. <laughs> Shout out to me. Me, I'm just playing, man. I'm a big fan. I'm just joking with you. I don't want you to blackball me in the Come on the show, me. You know, you know billionaires, okay? I don't know one, okay? Can't wait to hear this. I'll make one, but I'm, I know we probably got some fire on Dead Steve right now. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm excited did. to hear what he comes up you with. You think he can talk? Now, the judge? What the fuck? Yo, I'm afraid. Big as shit. You see that shit, man? That shit look like it's powdered up with makeup. <laughs> she got a five head? Oh man, that shit wrinkled. That shit looked like it looked like there's a whole surf of waves going in the front of her head. You see that shit? You plead the fifth, right? No, I get. I don't got plead the fifth on that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah. So the judge, um, so the Supreme Court went and overruled. Right now he's out. He's just out in bail. Right. So right. he might get a full trial. So the DA is pretty much siding with the defense, you know, and stating that. It's speculation that he may sue the city. I don't know if he will. The way Meek looks to me, he looks like he's just happy to hell he's just out. Yeah, he I, don't I, give a shit. For real. Yeah, you know I mean he's with his son, he's with his family. You know, that's I, all he wanted. To do, right? Yeah, and I think that the judge, you know, he just got some personal vendetta out for the young man, and I just feel like it's it's, it's when they see it, when they see us us as African American men succeeding. They want to find some way for us to, some way right. to bring us down. But she's black! Yeah. This is the part where this fucking me uh, up! Okay, she's not. I got you. She's not black. Some people wear, some people may be in the African American skin, but what do you have Caucasian face on? Mmm, yeah. yeah. I could tell right away her lace front look. Cause it looked like <laughs> shit. <laughs> that shit looked like she just sold that shit in the top. I love my Caucasians. I'm just gonna be honest. Oh, look, Shane, look, 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 Shane, look. I'm not what I'm paying. I said it's I'm not wild. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, 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 last thing that we were talking about the white folks, so he said it. This is what, this is what, can I, you said it, right? Can I say it again? Oh, say it. Okay, yeah, know. Shane said that white <laughs> folks don't wash their ass. <laughs> that's it's, what the last thing said. With a rag. It's, it's, it's true. This is what I feel. No, 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 no. We say don't wash their ass, they wash their butt cheeks, but they don't get a crack in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> White girl again. <laughs> I'm sorry, white oh, people. I'm just playing the show. The, oh. No, they don't wash the crack of their ass. They just let the suds run down there, bitch. They don't feel like getting in and like you know touching the crevices, and getting shit clean. That's why you know they just they wash up like the actual. <laughs> you seem wash, so devastated. No, no, they wash up. They wash up like a commercial, like Zest commercial. That's exactly but, what it is, man. Oh my god. <laughs> You know where they take the bar of soap and they put it right to their skin? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Oh, oh they don't want these motherfucking ass, man. Yeah, I'll be looking at someone. Can you imagine? Can you imagine looking at them like, yo, man, them motherfuckers look like they don't want to wash the crack in their ass, man. Like something. Now, I'm not saying they all don't do it, right? I mean, but. It's a good amount of it's a good amount of them. CB, I, now a conversation nope. like this, a, a conversation we, like this we, we will about really this. get. I feel like it. I, I I forgot what I was about to say, but my because <laughs> <thing, laughs> I I did not know that you specifically said that, and that was really creeping me out. Because <laughs> now I'm thinking about all the white people that I know. <laughs> that I know. That I know. Now white people, now <laughs> just 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 remind you, white people, we love you. Okay? We don't have nothing against you. It's just certain shit that you do. It's just that we just be wanting to know. Alright? It's just that, all right? we, just like, we love y'all. Okay? Y'all know how to party. You get drunk. Y'all headbutt each other. Like, we all for y'all. We just want to know, like, why y'all don't watch the crack of y'all ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, it don't matter whether you're white, blue, pink, green. You say the political correct answer. Okay, Shane said, as a white man, yeah, said, said told us that white folks don't wash their ass. Yeah, and they don't use... And
Dale. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my brother. You listen, just to me listen. So shout out to me. He's done all my media marketing as far as the item cover that you're looking at. That was dope. Um, the the one that the one that says available now with all the different. Tell him, uh, tell him take down my number, man. I'm gonna uh, ask him how much you charge. I'm gonna let him tell you how much you charge. He can do it right now. I don't give a shit. Yo, bro. Um, yeah. Text my phone to tell Tams how much you charge. Yeah, I'm gonna charge. I mean, I, I got it. Kind of, <laughs> maybe a couple checks in at the other job. <laughs> think I can accommodate him and what I need. Yeah, he's done every, done things for like the um, Stella Awards, different gospel artists. Oh, um, that's he's charging charge four fine lives. He, I promise you, he's not going to charge around the league. He definitely does um, really? help people and you know help them with their brand. And Stop, man. Let me tell you something. We've been doing this shit for so long. We've been asking and shame. We try to thank you and free. We try to come up with his logo for so long. And everybody we go to, they always charge me like $500. Just my dollars Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So let me ask you, who, who, what features would you like to work with? And people like Mark B. Who would you like to work with? First of all, I love Sesame. I love that too. That's one of my crushes. One of my many crushes. I'm going to go with that right now. I'm just trying to get I'm messing with you. SZA, who else? SZA, I definitely want to. He said 50 and up. 267. Bleep that out, Shane. What is it? What? I'm about confused. I said bleep out what I just said on the Oh, alright, alright. I got you, I got you. Oh, I'm sorry. And, his, Not that you said, I'm and he's actually rebranded. His brand is now called the Red Headed Guy. So. I just need, I just need a logo. Okay, we're well, yeah. good. Um, yeah, you're good. You come on the show, I can get a for free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you too. But yeah, um, SZA, um, who else? Legends, of course. Um, Usher, that's one of my idols. Of course, Tank, Trey Songs. Um, I thought everybody. I just want to work everybody. What about R. Kelly? Hell yeah, I work with R. Kelly. Hell yeah, who won't work with R. Kelly? He got off. Oh my god! <laughs> he got off! Oh my god! He got off! R. Kelly got off! <laughs> Listen, oh we god. saw the video. Let Bill go. We saw the video. Listen, we saw the girl sitting up there. He was like, yeah. The girl sitting up there dancing and shit. He pissing on her. Like, how you get off on that? What, pee on her? Pee on her. That shit wasn't white. That shit was dark yellow. <laughs> <laughs> that, shit, that shit was dark yellow. It wasn't even healthy. Yeah. Was <laughs> he was like, uh. No, on, on some real, on, on some real true shit. Some females like that freaky shit. That's what I'm saying. That's, 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 I have yeah. a friend who's dealt with like, that. Like, real rap. You had a friend who's dealt with that? Yeah, she was like, yeah, my friend. Like, come on, bro. Like, two girls, one cup. Yeah. Remember that? Wait, that's that's another yeah, that was nasty. Come on, dog. That was some fucking nasty shit. That was nasty. So, wait a minute. You a girl got pee on <laughs> I my friend circle. So what she look like? She she oh, a pretty little chocolate doll, but I can't, she she getting you know she out there, so I can't put her business out there. But there's people who like freaky stuff. So like so that. if I had to go to the bathroom and she's like, oh if if you had consent, you can, you can do anything. Wow, can you imagine, man? Like you just sitting. I would never do that. Shit. That's so comfortable. Wait, I'm just trying to figure out if we're not talking about that 14 year old woman. No, that's, that's why. That's why I know. That's why I just got off of that. Okay. Okay. I, I, I jumped off of that real quick. Like, I don't need the FBI coming in the mid tunnel. The Tarantino. Is there R. Kelly defenders in here? Yeah. <laughs> I just said it, it was a lady. I didn't even know how old she was. You know, I thought she was like sixteen no, or something. Unless she was under age. Yeah. Okay, that had nothing to do with that. She was young. I'm very over age and very aware of what was happening. So she, she got peed on. No, she peed on him. Ew. Oh, is that what it was? No. Oh, oh no. so now that's gross? No. Yes, it was gross either way. It's gross either way. I just I thought it was the other way around. I thought he was peeing on her. Peeing on me? That's like And then she gonna fart while she do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's two different things. That's like squirrel milk. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Man. Wait, Stop what? I can't air this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I know. No, it's all staying in. <laughs> all staying in. Oh, shout out to my girls, June's Diary, because they're definitely doing their thing. You know, with Frank Gass, I had the opportunity to meet with them and, you know, singing for them and stuff. So that was dope. So shout out to them girls. They're definitely grinding out here. Let me ask you something. Would you do a play? 
I've done plays, bro. Yes. Yeah. What plays you done? Did um, you I've done a play called Whistle Walk, which is a slavery play. I've done another play called um, Times Up. Okay. I've done another play. Um, damn, I've done so many plays, bro. That's wow. Just, yeah. That's dope because it, it, it takes a lot to go up on stage and do a play. Oh, it's yeah. fun. It's fun. It's, it's fun. fun. It's fun as hell, bro. I'll be scared as shit, man. Bro, you get that's when you get the fraud and like that's that's when you begin to like expand who you are as an individual because then you have to think about and understand the person that you're trying to become. Right, but but you can imagine people looking at you and you mess up. I'll probably be in the bathroom probably taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would See, be you scared. know, think about it. The audience doesn't really know what's supposed to happen. So yeah, if don't. you allow them to know you screwed up, they're gonna know. Exactly. They like know. I said, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> Just like when I was just saying, I had a couple bad notes, but you don't know that. I don't know that. I, I just listened to, you know, you know, I, girls said you, there's a couple girls said you sound amazing. You know, I've never seen no girls a day in my life on my Instagram. Question <laughs> yeah, for you. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, so, when you, so, it looks like we know now that, you know, you act, you sing, um, you play the trumpet. Yes. Um, what do you feel like? Is your highest attribute to to art? Good question. It's very low. Highest wow. attribute to art. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's some real shit in the right there. Oh, she does some real shit. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta think about that. See, I was being nice with you. You take it serious <laughs> shit. What is my highest attribute to art? <sighs> because I mean, like sometimes you like someone will be, you know. If I'm an actress, but I still know how to play the trumpet, it is it's the best. I, I'm the best at that, but I could, you know, being an actor is what I like the most, you know? So, that's why My I highest ask. attribute is, well, of course, me being a vocalist, me being a singer, but I um, definitely want to be well-rounded in all of them different areas. So, I don't just want to be restar and be singer. I want also want to have be James Reese, the actor, as well as the model. And all that stuff. So, I want to be more than just one thing. You know, more than one check. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what all do you want to do? Like, um, I mean, is it anything else that you want to do aside from what you have already stated? Um, I definitely want to get into producing and learn how to create um, beats. I understand how to, of course, record, mix down, but I want to get more in depth and understand that so I can then do it on my own instead of having to hire somebody. Yeah, that's dope. I understand that. Hey, that's a good way of doing it by doing beats and stuff, man, because you get to save a lot of money. That's a yeah, you ain't gotta go you ain't gotta go through it, but you know, but for real come to you, you know, it's different. For real come to you. But who I would love to work with for real. Yeah, for real I'm dope, man. For real. High dope. kind. So <laughs> let's get into it, man. Let's talk you know what? I'm about to play the song, man. I'm about to play I am. Um, we held out long enough. <laughs> you know, we talked about a lot of stuff. Some were nasty, some were good, some were bad. Some were people like what they were talking about, but so what? That's life. That's what we do here in the Terry Show. The best damn show in the world. The best damn motherfucking show in the world. I'm going to say this to the day I die. And when I'm coming up there, when I get that damn Emmy, and when I'm holding that shit up, I'm going to tell all the motherfuckers how I really feel. <laughs> you and Shane and Ashley, but y'all going to be on stage with me. And y'all going to have a lot of shit to say to like, yeah. And shout out to my mother, Shout out. Alright, let's get into the song right now. The best show in the world. The best R&B singer in the world. Right, I'm going to say that. I'm, I'm going to back that up right now. To the best R&B singer in the world. To my man, 100 Grand R&B Reese in the building, man. We're going to get into the single, man. I am. Let's go. The Tim Show. It's exclusive. We're about to rock it. We about to tear it down. We about to show y'all what it's like. Y'all can't even mess with us. I talk my shit every day, all day. That's what I do. The best damn show in the world. Y'all know what we rocking with. All right, let's get into it. I'm talking too much. <laughs> was talking for yeah, yeah. Bobby now. Um, the song I am. I really like the song. Um, I yeah, I, a homie of mine played the song or whatever um, for somebody, <laughs> and uh, you know he said the girl dropped the drawers right there in front of me. You know uh, that's what happened. Um, I appreciate you coming on, good brother. I appreciate you for having me, bro. You got to come back when the album drop, because, um, you know, this has been a long time coming. You know what I'm saying? I definitely enjoyed my time you being here, man. We got to do this again. Oh, definitely, um, bro. Definitely. You know, shout out to my staff, people, man, the cameraman that works for Clear Channel is coming in recording, too. Shout out to him. Let me ask you a question. Since I know you film me, right? I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> what, what voiceovers do you do? Uh, voice acting, man. I mean... Uh, anything they need me to do. Really? Sometimes they, they just go off the cuff. With it. So let me ask you a question before we you know get. 
What's the most famous impression that you can do? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know the mic can do it. It sounds like Anthony Hopkins. You know? <laughs> this is my Sean Connery. If you know who he is, um, I'm Bond, James Bond. Oh shit! <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a pretty, 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 pretty good Sean Connery. That's pretty good. Sean Connery. Robert Little Blossler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so please, anything you want to say before we get out of here, man? Yeah, bro. Thank you for having me on here. I appreciate you. Appreciate you for the support. Please go to my website, www reeseworldmusic.com to stay updated on everything Reese. All my links are there for my for iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Title. Um, follow me on Instagram at Reese World Music. That's Reese World Music. And if you haven't got my single I am, go get it now. I am Reese available everywhere for digital download. And you tuned into the Terrence Henry Show. Best damn show in the world is Reese you hear me? Yeah, definitely man. You know what this does man? This definitely motivates me. Be out. What's up, y'all? It's Reese. I'm here at the Deli Grind Radio Show. Make sure y'all tune in to my homie, Terrence Henry Show. It's every Sunday, 6 to 8, the best damn show in the world. You heard me? Yeah.